Hi everybody, so this is the lecture for antimicrobial drugs. It's part one, so it's basically half of the whole lecture. And the reason we do it in half and then another half is because um, I'm going to go through DNA and talk about DNA before we do part two. So antimicrobial drugs, some uh, definitions to start out with. Chemotherapy, antimicrobial drugs, antibiotic, and selective toxicity. So chemotherapy basically means the use of drugs or chemicals to treat a disease. Antimicrobial chemotherapy is widely used in Western medicine and unfortunately for us, the, the longer we use it, it seems to decrease in its effectiveness for reasons that we'll talk about later. Um, antimicrobial drugs are chemicals that are used to treat microbial infections. These can include antimicrobials, antifungals, antiprotozoals, and also antiviral drugs. Um, antibiotic is a, is a weird word because it's used by the medical community um, to mean antimicrobial drug. But in biology and in microbiology, it has a, a more specific definition. Um, I think the Western medical community misuses the word antibiotic just a little bit. Um, basically, antibiotic mean is a substance that's produced by a microbe, by a bacteria or a fungus. Um, usually, at least most of them that we know about uh, have come from fungi and bacteria. Um, and these chemicals in small amounts are meant to inhibit the growth of or to kill other microbes. So basically, an antibiotic is made by a bacteria, secreted outside of the cell, and it's, it's going to kill another species that is hogging its uh, space, basically. It's really common with fungi. Um, fungi produce a lot of antibiotics because bacteria grow much faster than fungi do. And so because fungi are slow growing, they don't want the bacteria to take over their space and eat all of their food um, that's in the, you know, or just in the recent uh, vicinity surrounding them because then they they'll die. So it's a survival strategy for the fungus. Um, selective toxicity is an important concept when you're using antimicrobial drugs in a medical capacity to, um, to treat a human being or to treat an animal or to treat, you know, whatever you're treating and get rid of a microbial infection. And basically, uh, selective toxicity means that you're going to kill the bacteria or whatever microbe you're going after without killing the the individual or the animal that you're 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 giving the drug to so not damaging the host host is basically the the larger um, the larger animal of the two the microbes being the small one the host being the one that the microbes are um, infesting um, a very, very tiny, tiny bit of history on antimicrobial drugs. The very first antimicrobial drug was discovered by a British scientist named Alexander Fleming in 1928. He discovered a drug, um, an antimicrobial drug we call penicillin. Penicillin is produced by a fungus called penicillium. Penicillium fungus. You, you may have, uh, if you have yogurt in your fridge, and you know in a big container and you eat like half the container and leave that yogurt in the back of the fridge for a long time you may have a very um, fuzzy green growth on it and that's usually the penicillium fungus you can also get penicillin penicillium growing on um, oranges that are going bad um, anyway you can see on this plate that's a black and white picture of the plate that um, uh, you have a penicillium colony growing on. You can see the bacterial colonies, they are down here, and then you can see the penicillium fungus, which has a much bigger surface area um, than a bacterial colony. And the other bacteria, you can see kind of remnants of colonies of other bacteria in this area around the penicillium fungus, but uh, this fungus is secreting anti antimicrobial compounds. So. They, these these are faint colonies, not dark colonies like down here, bright colonies, because they've killed almost all the bacteria in the immediate vicinity. So these are normal bacteria, and this is what we call a grow, an inhibition zone um, where the bacteria aren't growing very well. 
So, in between 1928 and 1940, um, there was uh, a lot of uh, stuff going on with penicillin, but uh, basically they tried to purify it and make it so that they could use it in humans. 1940, they did clinical trials, and by 1943, they had it on the market. And it was the first antimicrobial drug around. It was kind of considered a miracle cure for bacterial infections. Um, and, uh, you know, it kind of ushered us into the, you know, if you want to call it the golden age of Western medicine, um, which we are slowly coming out of. So how does penicillin work? Uh, lots of antimicrobial drugs work this way, um, penicillin just being one of them. But basically penicillin kills cells by attacking their peptidoglycan in such a way that the cell lyses them. Lyses. So penicillin essentially kills cells by lysing them. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to 